Let us move on to our next example. We have a two digit number. It is known that the unit's digit exceeds its tenth digit by two and that the product of the number and the sum of the digits is equal to 144. What will be the number? Let us see the options. A. 24 B. 26 C. 42 and D. 46 Well, this is an important question as it has appeared in Vipro exams. So let us take a keen look into it. Let the number at tenth digit be x and the unit's digit as it has been mentioned in your question, it exceeds your tenth digit by 2, hence x plus 2. And it is given that the product of the given number and the sum of the digits is equal to 144. So, we have the given number that is nothing but the tenth digit multiplied by 10 that is 10x plus your unit digit that is 10x plus 2 which is equal to 11x plus 2. Hence, your given number is nothing but 11x plus 2. Well, you have the sum of the digits to be found out. That is nothing but x plus x plus 2 which is equal to 2x plus 2. So it is given that the product is 144. Hence, the product of the number and the sum of the digits is 144. So the number is 11x plus 2 and the sum of the digits is nothing but 2x plus 2. Multiplying both, you will get 144. That gives you your first equation to solve. Multiplying the terms you get 22x square plus 26x minus 140 which is equal to 0. Simplifying it further you get 11x square plus 13x minus 70 is equal to 0 which is nothing but 11x square 13 can be written as 35 minus 22x minus 70 is equal to 0. If you can see you're rearranging 11x square and 22x as you can resolve them into common factors and 35x minus 70 is equal to 0. Here you can see that you can take 11x as common among these two terms and you can take 35 as common in these two terms. Take them outside you get 11x into x minus 2 plus 35 into x minus 2 which is x minus 2 into 11x plus 35 is equal to 0. From this equation you can see that your x can have two values x is equal to 2 or x is equal to minus 35 by 11 since 35 by 11 cannot be a whole number, we discard it. So, a value is x is equal to 2. We've got our x value, so the required number can be obtained by substituting your x value in the given number. That is, 2 into 11 plus 2, that is nothing but 22 plus 2, which is equal to 24. Hence, option A, 24, is your answer. Let us move on to our next interesting example. Three times the first of three consecutive odd integers is three more than twice the third. What will be the third integer? That is, it is given that we have three consecutive odd integers and the condition is three times the first integer will be 
three more than twice the third. Let us see the options. Option A, 9. Option B, 11. Option C, 13. Option D, 15. So, consecutive means next next integers. So, if we have three consecutive odd integers, we have a first integer to be x and a second integer to be x plus 2 and third integer to be x plus 4. As the difference between the odd numbers will be 2, we are increasing our digits by 2, x, x plus 2 and x plus 4. The given condition is 3 times the first number will be equal to 3 more that is plus 3 than twice the third that is 2 times the third number. So 3 times the first number is nothing but 3 times x that is 3x and 2 times the second integer is nothing but 2 into x plus 2. Sorry, uh, 2 into your third integer that is x plus 4. To that you need to add 3. Tallying your right hand side you get 2x plus 8 plus 3. Rearranging the equation you get 3x minus 2x is equal to 11. x is equal to 11. Now we have to find what will be the third integer. So substitute your x value in your third integer. That is 11 plus 4 which gives you your answer to be 15. That is your option is D. D is your answer. Well, this is an important question as it has appeared in bank exam, government exam.